breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here so guys president emerson nanga was a spokesperson at george aramba he threatened to jail journalists for reporting findings of gold mafia a documentary by al jazeera which exposed gold smuggling operations in zimbabwe in a twitter post Charamba said the documentary is uh, defamatory. He said friendly advice to all reckless journalists. Al Jazeera is not a court of law because whose claims impact privileges to defamatory utterances. It is merely some weaponized channel. If you are reckless enough to repeat what is phony, documentary defamatory says, hoping to plead. I had saw it on Al Jazeera. You will be sorry for yourself. Do not for once think there is no grit to act against reckless, defamatory, and politically motivated journalism. Faceless Twitter names egging you on will not be a factor when breakbeats come be warned. Al Jazeera released the first episode of the documentary titled God Mafia on Thursday last week. The documentary implicates Enrita Shawaya, the president of the Zimbabwe Menace Federation, Hubert Angel. The presidential ambassador at large to the Americas and Europe, Simon Redland, the owner of Godleaf Tobacco, Lamkesh Patini, the owner of Susan General Trading, a jewelry shop, Fidelity Printers and Refineries, and the Zimbabwe Revenue Authority, Zimra. The documentary notes that there is a network of individuals who are exporting gold from Zimbabwe in exchange for dirty money from abroad. The money is then cleaned in Zimbabwe. This is said to be a move to bust sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe. Rushawaya is said to be the one cleaning the dirty money. Lamkesh Patini, on the other hand, is allegedly siphoning cash from Zimbabwe in convenience with Zimra officials instead of bringing it from gold and jewelry proceeds. Smuggling is a big problem in Zimbabwe and it is hurting the country's economy. The country is losing billions of dollars because of the legal trade of goods like gold, tobacco, fuel, and diamonds. The government estimates that 1.5 billion US dollar is lost each year due to gold smuggling and 300 million US dollar due to tobacco smuggling. Fuel shortages have also contributed to smuggling which is out in the loss of revenue for the government. Smuggling creates an even playing field for legitimate businesses and can increase crime and corruption. That's the latest here uh, from Mr. George Charamba. Yes, the man is uh, saying that uh, my journalist never go to our social media, go to our social media. Don't be reckless. And remember that Al Jazeera is not a court of law. And also, those are just allegations. And yes, could I not innocent until proven guilty? So which means that here in the show, I am going to talk to Yes, can I put my village in a good to show those who are quitter? I will go back to go somewhere in there because can I pass now? Bo repo, those are just allegations and words are who clean out dirty money. So, got it all in the comment section, guys. This is um, daily news, breaking news, everyday news here on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. And uh, I'm not surprised uh, to hear this from Mr. Charamba. Is yes, instead of uh, talking about the corruption, the quitter is actually warning a friendly advice to a journalist with iowa don't be reckless and yes we're gonna talk about it because uh panel three or two my episodes are sarah my one is thursday uh 10 a.m in the morning al jazeera will give us episode number two so social media man one is angry a blaze it's a trend as a carry and for the next week or so and two all the four episodes are broadcast on al jazeera so we're gonna talk a lot about it and most people are gonna be implicated by my dues our twitter and remember, these are just allegations. We hope that institutions like Zek will do its job in try by all means to investigate. But we cannot just keep quiet because we have to talk about it. We have to discuss about it. Those people who are doing this, they need to be held accountable. Can I use when you are to talk about Al Jazeera? All those people who are implicated by Nyes, they need to come clean. Obudapachina with Iowa, a partner's requitika. The 
katochena zokudaro until then we still gonna talk about it here on Prince Milan Entertainment TV thank you for listening thank you for watching remember guys to like share comment and follow bless up